Welcome to the second episode of the series. In this particular video, we'll be creating this simple looking application over here. Now, you know, this application which you are seeing, you know, it is created using scaffold module. Now, a scaffold is basically a component in Jetpack Compose using which you can create the structure of an application. So what we will be doing, we'll be looking how to create this top app bar using scaffold. With this, we'll be also looking how to create this bottom app bar and the action you know float action floating button with this we'll be also handling the presses of this action floating button so if we click this you know you can see this value updated to one now if we click it for the second time now this value has been turned out to be two right with this we are also having a toast message over here indicating the number of presses okay now to start with creating our project what we have to do we have to navigate to this file then we'll be clicking on this new then we'll be clicking on this new project after this, you have to select this empty activity and then press on this next button. Now what you will be doing, you will be naming your application. So I will, you know, keep it as it is. After this, there is a package name. I will be discussing more about package name in our upcoming videos. After this, we have this save location. Now this is the particular location where your application files will be saved. After this, you have to select the minimum SDK. Now we have selected Android 7 for now. Now you can have you know any lower version or higher version as per your preference okay now we are having this build configuration language now this build configuration language you know you are recommend i uh, have to set this to this recommended for now now we have to click on this finish button okay so after finishing you will be you know loaded out with this basically you know so uh, this is you know the starting point okay so this code is basically provided you know whenever you create a new application now what does it have so it has basically few import statements now this are necessary to import different modules and libraries we'll be using this in our upcoming videos now we have this class main activity which basically inherits from this component activity now over here we are having an on create function now this on create function is the gateway to an activity so this is the function which will be called at the starting of an activity now here we have the initialization codes all of this now we will be looking uh, more about this in our upcoming videos now we have the set content which is basically to set the content now we are defining the theme of the application now here we are having an surface a surface is basically a container in which we you know store multiple things okay so uh, let us move on now we are having a modifier over here now this modifier you know it it is set to you know that uh, fill the maximum size now we are having color you know this is basically the background color which we are setting using the material theme now you know in by looking in to this keyword you can understand that surface is something upon which we will be painting something or we will be storing something right so you know surface is basically the first thing which you require because it will be the thing upon which you will be aligning different you know component okay now we are having this greeting function call over here now we are passing android in this with this you know we are having this function over here greeting which is basically a composable function now we will be discussing more about composable and recomposability in our upcoming videos now we are accepting a string which is you know uh, over here which will be android so name will be assigned android now we are having a modifier which you know we have explicitly defined now we will be understanding more about this in our upcoming videos so we are having this text module over here now text is basically used to you know uh, to represent a text inside an application okay so here we are having a text which is basically hello and name so name was basically initialized with androids so what we will be getting we will be getting hello android now what we are having we are having a preview over here now what preview does preview basically provide us a preview of a particular component okay so suppose this is our component which is creating now this preview will be generated okay now how to see this preview for this you have to come to this split now you can you know click on this build and refresh now you have to wait for some time till the you know the gradle build has uh, start okay now it, uh, it is in slicing 
So the uh, rendering of preview has started. Now we can see this hello Android, right? Now we can change this text to anything as per your need. So we can say like hola, no, and this uh, also will be updated over here. Okay, now let us begin with our project. For this, what we have to do, we have to remove this entire code. Then what we'll be doing, we'll be removing this preview also because we don't need it for now. Then we'll be, you know, clicking on this code. Now what we have to do, we have to remove this greeting function call from over here. Okay, so now we are almost ready with everything. And now we can start with our project. Okay, so firstly, what we will be requiring, we'll be requiring, you know, a function which will be basically scaffold example. So we'll be naming it as scaffold example. Now we are basically illustrating scaffold over here now what we'll be requiring next we'll be requiring a scaffold right for this what we can do we can simply say scaffold uh, just a second so we can say scaffold okay now we are having this scaffold now we have to you know bring circular brackets over here now you know this basically this scaffold example it is you know uh it, it has to be a composable so we'll be uh, you know bringing this composable annotation over here okay so now we are ready now we can start by you know focusing on the top app bar for this what we can do we can simply say top bar and then we can say simply that we want a centered you know centered aligned top app bar now in this what we want we simply want a few more things for this what we can do we can simply come over here and we will set the color so for this what we can do we can say colors equals top app bar color so we can say top app bar you know default dot top app bar colors okay now in this colors you know we can if we navigate over this what we can find we have this container color this title container color and the scroll container color and all of this so we'll be focusing on this container color and this you know title content color for now for this what we have to do we have to come down and we have to say container you know container color now we will be having a here material theme we'll be using material theme and then we'll be saying color scheme and then we can say primary container now over here the next thing which we require is basically that uh, you know we have to separate it using a comma then we'll be requiring the title content color so we can say title content color then we can use this material theme again and then we can say color scheme and then we can send it primary okay so now we are you know done with all of this okay now we can move on with the code so we are basically having our uh, top app bar we have set the color now the next thing will be to set up you know the type uh, the title over here okay so for this what we have to do we have to simply say that uh, you know we are requiring a title over here for this we can use simply a text okay for this what we have to do we have to simply say text you know and this in this text what we can pass we can pass a text over here now which can be something like coding hub so it, this is the same text which will be represented on the app bar okay in the top app bar now what we require we want few you know uh, restrictions over here the restriction will be that the entire line should be in a single line for this we can say max lines you know one and then we can have you know uh, overflow condition over here so we will be saying overflow equals you know text overflow ellipse okay so we'll be using this okay so almost you know we are ready with everything so we are having our top app bar color you know we have also set the uh, you know the text color now we are also having the text now few more things which are left is basically you know the icons which are required so let us focus on this particular thing now so what we can do we can come over uh, here and then we can have a comma over here and now we can say simply that we want a navigation icon now this navigation icon will be basically a icon button so we can say icon button on click now there will be now we are not focusing on the on click for now we will be requiring an icon over here okay now in this icon we will be using this image vector one now we will be having this icons dot you know filled okay so we'll be using this icons then we'll be having filled then what we'll be doing will be simply uh, we can say arrow back okay so we'll be using arrow back now we will be not giving a content description for now because it is not needed for now okay so we are having our navigation button uh, now the next thing uh, which we will be focusing is on creating the next you know thing which is basically actions 
so for this we can have you know actions and you know in actions we have various more things like you know like the of the menu button okay so what we'll be doing we'll be simply saying actions you have to come down and then you will be saying icon button okay icon button now we will be not focusing on the on click for now what we'll be doing we'll be saying the same icon now we'll be using this image vector over this image vector you can simply say icons dot filled dot you will be having this menu okay now we'll be also you know leaving this content description for now so let us see what is you know there okay so it is basically saying to obtain experimental thing okay so it is almost done now the next thing you know the next thing which uh, we want is to see the top app bar you know for this what we can do we can simply come over here and then in this we can say that we want the inner padding uh, we can say inner you know padding okay then we can come over down over here and then we can simply say that you know we want a column now in this column what we can do we can have something you know for now or we can have nothing so we'll be simply saying you want a modifier and then we'll be saying we want a modifier you know and then we can have anything over here whichever you want so we'll be having a padding okay so we'll be saying modifier dot padding now you have more uh, you know types of padding over here we will be using basically you know uh, the simple padding and then we'll be saying inner padding inner padding okay so we have our column right now and uh, now what we can do we can simply run this code and check whether you know we are able to see our top app bar for this we'll be you know clicking on this run button okay so it will take some time you know for the abd to start we have to wait for this and we can say reinstall and rerun the app okay so uh, there is one uh, more thing which we have to do we have to simply call this you know scaffold example uh, over here so we can see the preview okay now we have to you know rerun this application now we have to do this reinstall and restart and upon doing this now we can see this cool looking top app bar now let us focus on the next thing which was our bottom app bar okay so we'll be focusing on this particularly so for this what we have to do we have to come down over here and you know this is where our top app bar was finishing so we can come over here and then we can say bottom bar now in bottom bar we'll be having bottom you know bottom app bar so in bottom app bar we have to firstly have this circular brackets over here okay so we'll be having this circular brackets now we can come over here and then we can say simply actions you know so we can have this and in this actions what we can do we can come over here and we can say icon button now inside this we'll be having icons okay now you know uh, we can have icon over here now what we'll be having we'll be selecting this image vector now inside this we'll be having our icons now then we have to press dot then we'll be having filled then what we can use we can use any you know icon we want so firstly we will be you know using this home now we have to you know pass an empty string over here now this content description basically provides the description of this icon now for now we are not you know defining this or you can define it in uh, if you want okay now we will be having four buttons so for this we will be copying out this only okay what we can do we can only change the value over here like from home now we can you know have uh, something like we can say call okay and then we can even use the email let's suppose we want to use an email and then what we can do we can have our favorite over here now you can have any of the icons as you want okay so it is almost almost done we'll be removing this section over here okay okay now uh, you know uh, our basic icons are done now the next thing which we require is basically a floating action button so let us see how to you know uh, you know bring this floating action button for this what we can do we can have a comma over here and then we can come over here and we can say basically floating action button you have to select this one then you have open curly braces now inside this what we will be having we will be having our floating action button and then we will be having our on click for now uh, let us you know uh, forget the on click we will be focusing on this okay so okay so here we will be having a comma and then we can say container 
you know a container color and then we have to use a, a you know a container color a color for the bottom app bar for this we can say bottom app bar defaults then we can say basically bottom app bar fab color so it is almost done now the next thing will be to have you know the elevation so we can say elevation now in this also we can say floating you know action button floating action button defaults and then we can say bottom app bar you know fab elevation okay so our elevation of the button is done now what we have to do we have to just define you know the uh, what we want uh, what type of icons we want so for this we can simply say icon and you will be selecting this image vector now we can simply use icons and inside icons we will be having filled and then we will be using basically a add button okay so we'll be using this add now we'll be also passing an empty string in the content description okay so our you know floating action button is also done and if we uh, recompile this code let us see what we are getting okay so we have to click on this reinstall and restart and then what we can see we can see now uh, for top app bar we can see our bottom app bar with this we are also able to see this floating action button right now you know we can move on with the code uh, now because you know if we are clicking on this floating action button it is not doing anything right and its position is also not in a correct place so let us focus on this so for this what we can do you know we can come uh, you know in the top of the block uh, of code where we were for this what we can do we can come over here in the top okay okay so here in this particular place you know in scaffold example at the top what we can have we can have a you know mutable state of variable which is basically presses so we will be having presses then we can say by remember remember okay remember and then we can have this mutable you know mutable int state of and then we will be passing a value zero so initially it will be zero we have to import this we will be importing this remember function now it is also saying us to import you know operators in okay with this it is also asking for us to import this one okay so uh, we have imported all the things which were necessary now we have to also define you know the scroll behavior for this we can have this scroll behavior now inside the scroll behavior what we can have we can simply say top app bar you know top app bar uh, defaults then we can have pinned scroll behavior and inside this uh, pinned scroll behavior we can have you know like uh, remember remember top app bar state okay so it is also done now the next thing will be to set up this you know so for this what we can do we can come over here and you know uh, this was our top app bar right so here you know in top app bar what we can do after this actions we can have our scroll behavior and then we can pass the same variable which uh, for the val value which we have took over here which was our scroll behavior okay now the next thing will be to use this presses so this presses we will be using you know in this particular place where our floating action button was clipped so here it was clipped so what we will be doing we are simply coming over here and then we will be increasing the presses by one okay so it is also done okay so the next thing will be to show up a text you know the text which will be like you know the button is pressed for this time so for this what we can do we can come over to this inner padding now in this inner padding you we have already the column right now we have the padding you know the next thing will be to fill the maximum size for this we can say fill uh, max size now it is also done now the thing will be to arrange uh, the things for this what we can do we can simply comma you know bring a comma over here then we can say you know over here we can say vertical arrangement and then we can say that we want the arrangement to be center so we can say arrangement dot center then we have to do the horizontal alignment so we have to do horizontal alignment and then what we can do we can do alignment center horizontal so it is also done now the next thing will be to provide a text over here for this what we can do we can simply come over here and we can say uh, text you know and this text we have to pass a text so let us suppose we want to pass something like button you know we can have a multiple text over here okay so we can simply say button button and then we can say button pressed you know pressed for for we have to press this dollar times okay so for this times what we will be having we will be having the presses 
and then we have times okay so we have button press for you know this time okay now the next thing which we want we wanted a toast message right so for this what we have to do we have to simply come over here we have to write toast you now we have to use this toast and in toast what we will be having we will be having make text now we have to pass a context for this what we can do we can simply come over here and then we can say val context you know context equals local you know local context local context and inside this will be having correct okay so we have the local context now what we can do we can simply pass this we can say context and inside this context what we can say we can simply say presses you no know, so it was basically integer so we have to convert it to string because you know toast only accepts string now the next thing will be to have our toast length so the length will be short for now okay so length will be short for now and then we have to show that you know this okay so we are almost done now the scroll behavior and all of this are already you know i think so set okay so we need one more thing the thing will be to set up the behavior of the scroll bar we can simply say modifier you know modifier uh equals modifier modifier and inside this modifier what we can have we can simply be you know assigning that we want a nested scroll now in, now in nested scroll what we will be wanting we will be wanting a scroll behavior now in this scroll behavior what we want we basically want a nested scroll connection now after doing all of this you know now if we reconstruct the code and we try to rerun the code let us see what we were able to see or achieve okay okay so our application has loaded now if we click this button you know now we can see the things updating and finally we were able to complete the thing which we have seen okay so we'll be building more application like this in our upcoming videos which will help us to understand more about how compose works with this we'll be also understanding more about kotlin we'll be learning the basics and advance of kotlin for now this is all we have to cover in today's video till then subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and share with your lovely ones it help us a lot and it will also help you to stay updated with our latest video till then have a great coding journey ahead